Welcome, 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 everyone. Lisa Zimmer here. Looks like we're ready. Say hi and tell me where you're from when you join. All right. Um, I was going to do a bunch of giveaways from comments last week. Still do, going to do that. Just did not get it done. Had some little family hiccups this last week. Very excited. I got to spend some time with my mom. Um, so anyway, I will make a note to do that. I'll also add some to this week's comments. So comment, comment, comment. So what is the importance of the comments? Why do I always harp on that? Um, when you share your testimonials, what products to use, how, you're helping me to educate everyone, right? So there are 20,000 plus people in this group and I only have a team of 1,800 customers, right? So the point of this group is to help everyone. There are a lot of people that get doTERRA accounts mistakenly by going to um, the doTERRA website and you don't always get um, a wellness advocate um, to support you that way. So if you're new here and you're looking at getting started with doTERRA, do not go to doTERRA.com um, to get your products. You want to reach out to a wellness advocate. They will help you get the products at the lowest price um, through a wellness advocate only, okay? Um, we help you get fees waived. We help you get um, additional samples <clears throat> and we provide educational support for you, okay? So this group I created to help support a lot of you that don't have that, okay? And so it's imperative that you share in the comments and help me help everyone because it's more efficient, okay? I sell doTERRA products. So I'm always gonna be the salesperson in some people's eyes. Whereas if you contribute and help me educate, you're not selling anything. So your testimonials, land even better with other folks, all right? So help me, help me, help me get the word out about these products and how they change your life. Okay, let me go to the group here and see if everybody is, oh, looks like a couple people commented. Oh, that's um, last week's video. All right, let me see, make sure people are joining me here. Yep, comments are coming. Hey, Lisa, all right. Hi, Gail. Hi, Susan. Hi, Terry. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so some cool topics today we're going to cover. Um, I want to make sure that everyone has gotten as many of these as you can get. My lighting is weird. I'm sitting in front of a window. So this is the Rose Duet. Okay, in fact, I'm even going to spray some on because I didn't get any on today. Whereas perfume, that's what it's going to be for me today, right? So as soon as I get on the shower, I'm out of routine, right? I've been traveling, so my routine is all messed up. Forgot to use the rose. Last night, I did remember to put the Moringa rose oil on, um, but I want to talk about the benefits of these one more time. Um, I think they're still, still available. If they're sold out, uh, don't be mad at me. I warned you. So um, rose hydrosol mist hydrates the skin and supports a glowing complexion. Now I put rose on my face every single day, twice a day. I have five drops of pure rose oil, the $275 bottle, pure rose oil in my hydrating cream. So that goes all over my face, uh, neck and throat every single day. I add five drops tea tree, five drops frankincense to my hydrating cream, stir it up and use that, okay? Rose hydrosol mist, keep this bottle, when this bottle is empty, I'll teach you how to make, we can, yep, you can, we're going to recycle this when it's gone, okay? I'll teach you how to make your own rose hydrosol um, if you run out. You want to get that, it's cheaper, <laughs> um, because you're going to have to buy the $275 bottle of, of rose oil. That's what we use points on, folks. We use points for rose oil, Melissa oil. Helichrysum, blue tansy, all those big ticket items, right? We use our free points. 
All right, so rose hydrosol mist hydrates the skin, supports a glowing complexion. It's a refreshing addition to your daily skincare routine, ideal for the face, body, and hair. I haven't put it in my hair yet. It's made using the same process and plant material as the rose essential oil. It's steam distilled um, Bulgarian Damask rose, right? Um, Moringa rose oil is a luxurious, that's an understatement, facial oil infused with the rose oil. It provides exceptional anti-aging benefits. The hydration is incredible. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, one pump, one pump, make it last, just one pump. It helps nourish the skin for ultimate hydration, promoting healthy, glowing, younger looking skin. So the Moringa, I do before bed. I do both before bed. I do the hydrosol mist um, when I get out of the shower. Then I put my hydrating cream on. Okay, so morning, shower, hydrosol mist, hydrating cream, let that soak in doTERRA mineral sunscreen for the face. Let that soak in, absorbs very quickly. And that's my skin prep for the morning. Okay, so hydrosol mist, hydrating cream, extra oils added, and the mineral sunscreen. And then I do my stuff. Okay, at night, hydrosol mist. Um, I've got different rollers that I use. Uh, copaiba, helps with collagen, frankincense, anti-aging. I'm big on pre-made rollers right now. Um, rose, neroli, magnolia. I lost track. Rose, neroli, magnolia. You can do jasmine. I don't use jasmine. Um, uh, frankincense, tea tree, lavender, copaiba, immortal. Helicarsum. I'm big on the pre-made rollers right now out of efficiency, right? So I just alternate, use different ones. Some of them I'll roll in different places. Um, and then I'll do my hydrating cream. And then I'll do the Moringa Rose Oil last. And I'll leave it on heavy and go to bed, okay, for the anti-aging. So directions after cleansing, apply two to three drops to fingertips. I'm doing one pump to make it last. Get your maximum. It's either four or five sets. Gently press fingertips to cheeks, forehead, and chin to evenly distribute before massaging on the skin. So I do it in my palm, rub my hands together, and press just like this. I do the same thing with the sunscreen. I press it on, spread it out, and then do all of that, okay? Um, spray eight to 10 inches from face for the hydrosol mist, body and hair. You can use it as a toner before and you can use it after makeup application. I'm not gonna do that because I'll get spots in my glasses. All right, let's see what kind of questions you have. Share your testimonials. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Terry. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Ian. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Francis. Marina says, is this good for thin aging skin? Yes, 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 yes. And then make sure you include yarrow palm and copaiba for collagen boosting. And make sure that you are taking the MetaPower Advantage, all right, for thin aging skin. Anne says hers arrived. She loves both the products and the bottles are beautiful as well. Oh, great tip from Michelle. Palma Rosa, it's not an oil in our regular line. It was free um, last month or the month before. So add Palma Rosa to that routine. Okay, share, share, share. Blue Tansy is amazing to add as well. All right, so I want to dig into some really important topics because these all happened to me in the last week. So just a reminder of our disclaimer. I am not promoting these products to prevent, treat, or cure disease. These are supplements, essential oils, natural health and wellness products. These are not medication, all right? So I use these products to create an environment in my body that makes it more difficult for bad things to thrive, right? So I am creating a whether it's my gut biome, um, balancing and supporting brain chemicals, right? I am not preventing, treating, or curing disease. Only prescriptions and doctors are allowed to do that. 
I'm not a medical professional. What I do is I help people understand the body better to help get your body systems back in balance, get your body to homeostasis, create an environment where yucky stuff can't thrive, foodies can't thrive. Okay, so now that being said, and I'll say it a couple times, in the last week, I had a UTI diverticulitis episode and a cold, okay? So let me give you some timeline here. The cold I just got from stress the last week and then flying home and not putting myself first and not taking care of myself, not drinking enough water, um, making poor food choices, not having my good routine, forgetting some of my supplements, okay? All that I have, I started feeling sick. I woke up Tuesday morning with the sore throat and the post-nasal drip, okay? So it was important that I gave my body an environment where that could not thrive. My go-to, my first go-to now, tea tree. So what did I do? I'm gonna show you what I did because it's time to do it, okay? I got like three, four drops of tea tree all over my neck, behind my ears, throat, chest, everywhere. And then I put it all over my face. I'm gonna do this right on camera so my sinuses might clear later, I might cough or sneeze. Inhaling the natural chemical compounds through my nose is going to get the beneficial components of tea tree into where I need it to go. I need it in my sinuses. I need it inside my body as well as outside. Everything here is absorbing into my skin in 20 seconds, traveling throughout my whole bloodstream in 20 minutes, right? But I wanna target, right? So I'm gonna pat, actually I'm gonna pat and put it on, right? I have places to go today, so I can't ruin my makeup. I'm patting tea tree on. Now I'm gonna inhale deeply through my nose. And it burns a little bit, not bad. Just like if you were to smell something, um, I waited a minute. It would be even stronger if I did it right away, but I'm already feeling better, right? I woke up not feeling great Tuesday by last night. I felt like a million bucks. I slept, I drank water, I ate well, I avoided sugar and I covered myself in tea tree every couple hours, okay? Then I took a bath. This is for the cold. I did this same bath for the last week for all of the things, okay? So clearly my immune system tanked from travel and stressors um, with family health situations, okay? So while I was gone, I did tea tree, Spanish sage, aroma touch, and lavender in Epsom salts, and I did it when I got home. I did about five drops each, one cup of Epsom salts. Spanish sage, aroma touch, lavender, tea tree. Soak in the bath for at least 20 minutes, okay? It's getting throughout my whole body soaking in that warm bath, okay? So I also did lemon, grapefruit, and cinnamon bark in shots with a drop or two of tea tree. Yes, it tastes gross. It's not that bad. I didn't actually use oregano this time. I always go straight to oregano, but... I just, I didn't have it with me while I was gone. And I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like it for some reason. I'm obsessed with tea tree. I'm getting such great results with tea tree and Spanish sage, right? So a shot of um, a couple drops lemon, couple drops grapefruit, couple drops cinnamon, couple drops tea tree. And I did that three times a day. And then in between those three times a day, I took um, two On Guard Soft Gels, okay? And I feel better in a day and a half, okay? It was, was it morning, yeah, it was a day and a half. Boom, done. Whereas people around me here in Florida who are sick are still congested um, a week or two later who don't use the oils, <laughs> right? So yes, I actually have friends that don't use the oils. I don't know how it's possible still at this juncture, but whatever, right? Unless I slap them on them, I still can't make it happen. But uh, so, Let's go to UTI. So um, 
not something I get very often. Again, let myself go and didn't drink enough water, was not drinking while I was gone, was not drinking the lemon, grapefruit, and cinnamon in my water. Okay, this was at the very beginning of my trip. I took two On Guard Soft Gels. I inserted them vaginally. I did that morning and night, right? So it was a very direct um, application to that, okay? And they um, dissolve on their own, and it's a warm sensation when they dissolve, um, and um, it goes away in less than um, probably about 30 seconds, okay? And my body absorbs that naturally. It's not something I do all the time, um, but I did that for, actually I kept doing that all week um, because I also then had a diverticulitis episode and I wanted the um, oils as close to the source as possible um, so that I could create an environment where um, the yucky stuff could not continue to thrive, okay? So that is not something that you're going to find, I don't think, in any book. I learned that from a friend of mine, and it has been um, a lifesaver, a game changer. So adult topic time, adult topic time if kids are watching, right? So as women age with menopause, um, this isn't something I deal with necessarily yet, but um, what I've been reading about um, is you're more likely for UTIs, yeast infections, et cetera, because as you age, uh, you can experience vaginal dryness and the natural cleansing process of um, that is, um, I don't want to say inhibited, but is uh, less productive, right? Which can lead to more um, yeast infections, bacterial infections, UTIs, et cetera, okay? So that is something I am paying very close attention to, All right? So UTI, same thing. Um, I did tea tree all over my abdomen. I did the hot baths. I took the On Guard soft gels. I also took um, GX Assist. So if you read the oils for GX Assist, you're going to see really strong antioxidants. You're going to see really strong immunity. I can only take one, maybe two GX Assist a day. And I have to take it following food because when that capsule opens with the oregano and clove, I get a warm sensation in my abdomen and it always makes me nervous that something is wrong. So I do the GX assist um, with food or following food. Okay. It has um, uh, oregano oil. Look up the benefits of oregano. It has clove. It has mo. No, it's on guard that has Melissa. But anyway, alternating those products. So there are some key products you must have on hand if you deal with any of these things um, on a regular basis or ever. You want them for the what if, right? So to keep my intestines and my colon clear and healthy um, and not susceptible to UTI, I need to drink the lemon, grapefruit, cinnamon every single day. Right, I need to use Digestin, DDR, and Arborvita roller every single day. When I get off track, I ate popcorn, not supposed to eat popcorn. I ate tons of fruit with seeds and I ate tons of nuts, not supposed to eat any of those things. Okay. So, one, I did it to myself and it would have been fine had I been doing my regular routine of other um, products traveled, fell off the routine, got distracted with family stuff. And so it is imperative for colon health, intestinal health uh, to have on hand at the first sign of abdominal discomfort, okay? You always wanna make sure it's not on the right side. That can be appendix. Uh, consult your physician, go to the uh, ER, go to your doctor, whatever your beliefs are, okay? I know, um, very well my body, very in tune with my body. So I know that pain down the middle um, of my abdomen or the left side is a diverticulitis episode. The first thing I do is I run and I grab and I take a peppermint soft gel 
not a beadlet, nothing else. Our peppermint soft gels are created. They're enteric coated, created with, um, I think it was an abdominal surgeon or a, um, intestinal um, physician. Uh, but point being, it took years to create this peppermint enteric coated soft gel. Why is it a big deal? It does not open until it reaches the colon. Okay. This is a big deal because hydrochloric acid destroys the benefits of the oils in the stomach. So there are very few products that survive that. One of them is peppermint soft gel. The other is doTERRA's PB assist. Okay. The dual chamber, um, or double encapsulated. Okay. So peppermint soft gel, digest then soft gel, GX assist, on guard soft gel. Boom. And make sure I have some food in my stomach. I take one of each at the first sign. Peppermint soft gel, digest then soft gel, on guard soft gel, GX assist. Drink lots of water. Don't eat popcorn, anything with seeds, anything antagonistic. And make sure I'm drinking lemon, grapefruit, cinnamon in my water. And then also lime. Lime oil is incredible for colon health. I got that direct from compliance. A little education I got one day when I had to talk to them. And then tea tree all over the abdomen. Now you can look in your book. You can Google other things. There are a million and one ways um, to give your body an environment where it makes it more difficult for bad things to thrive for UTI, diverticulitis, cold. Share in the comments what you use to keep your intestines and colon healthy. Share what you use to um, keep your body um, healthy and give it an environment where things cannot thrive, right? I want to hear what you do. I hope. Hi, Bev. Hi, Vani. Good turnout today. All right. So again, it's very important. Now, I take two On Guard Soft Gels at bedtime, two Copaiba Soft Gels at bedtime, and two Serenity Soft Gels. If I don't fall off the wagon, I don't have the problems that we're talking about today. Uh, but there was an incredible amount of stress on this trip, plus travel, plus falling off the wagon, um, plus, like I said, not drinking enough water, poor eating choices, et cetera, um, that led to a perfect storm. A lot of times I'll get these three things at one time ever since my divorce. So this is the third time in a year and a half that I've dealt with all of these at the same time. Right. So again, the perfect storm simply because I was not being proactive and I let my body go. I stopped putting oils in the bath. I stopped taking the baths. I forgot my LLV. I forgot to take my supplements at night. I forgot to drink my oils in my water. So many things. Okay. And then, of course, to keep things um, running smoothly and healthy and clean, lifelong vitality pack every day, Terrazyme and PB assist. That's a given, okay? But if you have anything abdominal or intestinal, I want you to make sure whether you need them right now or not, on your next order, you order peppermint soft gels, digest then soft gels, GX assist, and on guard soft gels. So I put two on guard soft gels, inserted them vaginally, as far as the books, I could get them to go uh, twice a day. And then I do the peppermint, digest, then GX, and on guard um, twice a day with food because I usually only eat twice. And then I'll throw in another peppermint, um, digest, then in between the day. And those are fine just with or without food. And then my two on guard soft gels at night. Okay. Again, this is um, for intestinal health. All right. I want to hear your questions. Um, Michelle's like, routine, routine, routine. Routine keeps me healthy, um, but we're going to fall off the wagon. It just is what it is. All right. Diane says, sounds like a stress storm. It was. Uh, okay. <laughs> Susan put on guard soft gels, exclamation point, exclamation point. I ordered, I think, like 10 bottles of on guard soft gels a couple months ago um, when. I used them um, 
vaginally for, uh, what was it? I guess it was a while ago. I haven't even been last year already. So I was visiting my friend in Maui in November and I can't remember what I had back then even. I don't think it was any of those things. I think it was maybe a yeast infection or thought it was a yeast infection. Um, oh yeah, I didn't know what I had, but I knew something wasn't right. And um, she said two on guard soft gels vaginally um, while you're sleeping. And then I also, if something is going on, I do another two during the day. Um, I got home, got with a doctor, a natural doctor, and he said an antibiotic that I had to take in May of 2022 um, for strep. Again, I never take medications. I shouldn't have, but I was overwhelmed with life back then. The divorce was new. He said it caused a fungal infection and yeast overgrowth. So he said I had um, some issues. So remember when you take an antibiotic, you um, damage your gut biome for 18 months. So it's very important that you take your doTERRA probiotics every single day after, if you have to take an antibiotic, double up, triple up on your probiotics for 10 days, right? Travel is the worst, right? So I used to, anytime I traveled and flew, I would get, when I got home, full-blown sinus infection, which would lead to respiratory infection, which would lead to bronchitis, which would lead to pneumonia. That was pre-doTERRA because my body was always in an unhealthy state, okay? And was not able to battle those things. I never get sick when I fly now, except for when I don't do my proactive measures to keep my body healthy and strong. And when I come back, I did not do those things right away. The very first thing I should have done when I got home was I should have put tea tree all over me, waited five, 10 minutes, gotten in a bath with tea tree, Spanish sage, aroma touch, and lavender, and one cup of Epsom salts and soaked, and then showered or taken a shower, all right, to help boost my immune system immediately. And I should have taken it extra on guard soft gels. I should have taken a GX assist. I didn't do any of those things when I got home. So I ended up with this little congestion and cold, but I nipped it in the bud, right? So on guard soft gels, I have not just on guard in them. They also have Melissa oil in them, which is one of our strongest oils for immunity. Okay. It's expensive. It's powerful. It's good, right? So then proactively, because for me, anytime I get post-nasal drip and a sore throat, uh, it will eventually go into my lungs immediately um, because of a lifelong history of asthma before doTERRA came along, okay? So I still have that weakness in here. So I rolled 20 drops lime, 20 drops Siberian fur with coconut oil and a 10 milliliter roller all over my chest, throat, bottoms of feet and on sinuses at bedtime the last two nights, okay? Um, Tuesday night and Wednesday night. I, now, feel free to ask questions. I jumped around on those a lot, right? I jumped around on those a lot. And uh, I wanna make sure that you have those items in stock for emergencies, as well as I want you to take on guard soft gels on a regular basis. Um, another great tip, again, adult topic time, adult topic time. For women, if you're prone to UTI or yeast infections, first of all, um, after having sexual relations, make sure that you go to the bathroom immediately. And then also, um, that is a great time to put in one or two on guard soft gels if you're comfortable with that, all right? That is my routine. Um, Let's talk about the importance of having more than one roller of the same thing available. So I have a very bad habit of falling off the wagon when the roller is empty, right? And this is one that I need to use every single day without fail, at least once. And once again, now it's been a couple of weeks and it's sitting on my counter empty. It is adaptive 
Litzy, Citrus Bloom, Zendocrine, Geranium, Blue Tansy, 10 drops of each topped with fractionated coconut oil. It is my Love Your Liver Roller. Roll over the liver and on my um, lower back on the right side. Um, every single day when I get up, let that soak in, turn my coffee on, go shower. Hot water is going to drive those oils in deeper. Okay. Fall, fell off the wagon, right? This was a week or two before my trip. So I did not prep my body well. Also, I now have an adrenals roller. Why are these two so important for me? Actually, um, the liver one, everyone should use because liver issues um, are chronic in the US. Me at 51, I guess that I was 52 a couple of weeks ago. I'm only 51. Liver and adrenals are usually the root um, cause of hormonal imbalance um, for hot flashes, et cetera. My adrenals tanked from the stress of my divorce and chronic stress from that for a year and a half. And um, my liver, I fall off the wagon with liver support too often, right? I've had the hardest time through this transition of life staying on the wagon with things, right? Liver and adrenals, both sitting here empty. So my hot flashes have been horrific. My own fault, okay? We have to be proactive. So now I'm going to um, make it a point to have two. I'm gonna put one pair next to my bed, one pair in the bathroom. Maria says, can you tell me what oils are good for intestinals? Um, I just did, Maria. So um, please rewatch the earlier part of the video. Um, but what I want you to do for me right now, just to take a quick note, Maria, is I want you to make sure that you have peppermint soft gels, On Guard soft gels, GX Assist, and Digestin soft gels. Okay, that's an immediate need. All right, make sure you have lime oil. Okay, and tea tree. Those are my Go to's. Okay. And then go back and watch the video one more time. All right. Um, this is why I'm hot flashing terrible right now. So, what are some great um, things to do for that? I have uh, my peppermint body spray peppermint, tea tree, copaiba, frankincense, lavender, vanilla, um, 40 drops each in a four ounce sprayer topped with water. I'm going to spray that before I head out for my doctor's appointment. Right. Who's going to tell me I have fallen off the wagon with my liver and adrenal? <laughs> okay. I'm going to read some comments here. Oh, and then also um, always make sure that you have on hand deep blue polyphenol complex, copaiba soft gels, and turmeric dual chamber capsules. Okay, so turmeric dual chamber capsules and deep blue polyphenols um, are what we use for head and neck tension, aches and discomforts, elevated body temperature, any kind of need for a healthy inflammatory response. So um, I did not take these this time because I did not have them with me, but I would have, I did have the copaiba soft gels. So I took my two copaiba soft gels at night. I cannot take copaiba soft gels during the day because they make me tired, right? But otherwise during the day, had I had them with me, I would have incorporated one deep blue polyphenol complex and one turmeric capsule morning and night or morning, afternoon and night for all of these things for a healthy inflammatory response, all right? Um, there are things that you just need to have on hand, whether you take them on a daily basis or not. A lot of you take copaiba, turmeric, and deep blue on a regular basis for pain and a healthy inflammatory response um, every single day without fail. And that's amazing. My uh, inflammation in my body is not that bad. It has increased since menopause. Menopause can create uh, muscle and joint pain, which I did not know. And so um, I do need to get those into my daily routine to keep that um, under control. My lifelong vitality pack supplements with essential oils infused in them um, 
keeps a healthy inflammatory response for me. I had chronic pain my whole adult life from multiple car accidents and then post Levaquin and then post cataract surgery. But I've always had chronic pain with the use of lifelong vitality pack, um, terazyme digestive enzymes and pv probiotics. I maintain a healthy inflammatory response until more recently um, with the post cataract debacle from two years ago and then very recently within the last six months, the muscle and joint pain from menopause, right? Oh, and here's what contributed to the cold as well, right? And this is common for everyone. The allergens in Illinois were off the charts. Now you're all going to be dealing with um, the Canada wildfires um, smoke. Y'all need to get Arac going any of you have been affected with this smoke it has traveled into the u.s and it is traveling south i'm way south in florida but the rest of you you have got to get air x going in your diffusers immediately all over the house we have got to be working on respiratory support proactively right now and keeping our air quality as clean as possible for us okay Air X, Air X, Air X. I cannot stress it enough. Siberian fur is also great, but if you do not have Air X um, in your uh, oil supply, order that immediately. Um, there's a there's a possibility that could sell out because this is this uh, wildfire smoke is very serious and affecting millions and millions and millions and millions and millions. Okay, it's moving into New York right now. Right, so um, very important, Airx. Until you get Airx, use your Breathe, use your Siberian fur, um, Siberian fur and lime for respiratory. Start applying them topically. Remember, Breathe has lime in it, and Siberian fur and lime obviously has lime in it, and that is a very photosensitive oil, and it is summer for a lot of you. So just make sure if you're gonna put that on that you do not expose that skin to the sun. And let me see what comments. Diane said they are code red um, for the um, wildfire smoke. Aroma touch for muscle pain, magnesium for hot flashes. Um, I do have the magnesium. Fell off the wagon with that while I was gone. I forgot to take it. Right. Terry says, isn't menopause fun? It is a nightmare, right? So just real quick tips for menopause. Lifelong Vitality Pack, Terrazyme, Pevisus Probiotics, Phytoestrogen Supplement, and the Bone Nutrient Supplement, and Clary Calm. And then make sure you're supporting your liver and make sure you're supporting your adrenals. Two amazing oils to also use topically, oregano and thyme. Um, and clary sage, a roller 20 drops each, topped off with fractionated coconut oil, roll the bottoms of the feet, right? Those oils are incredible for hormone balancing. Terry says the wildfires are not affecting them in Maine because it's been raining for two weeks straight, but the allergies are off the charts. All right, so what happens when we um, have uh, allergies attacking us, I don't normally have allergies, but in Illinois, our bodies, I guess, weren't used to them anymore. So Jax and I were woken up with natty eyes, waking up with natty eyes. So what happens is you can be affected by the allergens and not even know that they're causing inflammation, right? So I forgot about that. That probably contributed to the um, infection that started, right, in my face, the post-nasal drip, the sore throat, okay? Because I was prob probably already weakened with my body trying to fight the allergies and causing inflammation in my sinuses. And then boom, it goes so quickly with travel, with poor diet choices, et cetera stress, not taking care of myself, not getting enough sleep, right? I covered a lot today. I got to run. I want to make sure that if you're late and you don't rewatch this, please get these ordered and stock up. You can get a max of, I think it's five. Um, you're going to want them. You're going to want to make it last. If there is the high enough demand for it, which I'm very confident there will be, doTERRA will bring it out. Um, possibly next year. 
um, as a regular line item. When they do these LTOs, limited time offers, they're testing the market to see what you love. I would love for everyone to email product support at doTERRA.com and tell them to please make the rose duet a regular item and order as many as your budget can afford. Um, this product, these product pairing is so incredible for anti-aging and skin repair um, in conjunction with Make sure you're using the doTERRA mineral sunscreen and stock up on it. Reminder, it's only $25, which is ridiculous for this quality um, of a product. A lot of sunscreens, um, clean facial sunscreens that do not clog pores, that do not cause acne, uh, are twice this price for the same size bottle. Okay, so please, please, please. But email product support at doTERRA.com and ask them to make the Rose Duet a regular line item. I'm so in love with the Rose Duet. I will email for sure, says Michelle. Yay. Okay. Um, share, share in the testimony or share in your testimonials in the comments on what you're loving and why. And I have a note um, to get caught up on the giveaways. I'm going through last week's video comments and this week's. Okay. It's just random. Just Right, comment, and we pick a name. You don't have to be on my team, um, nothing else. Uh, if you are in the US, um, I pay shipping. If you're outside of the US and you win, you pay shipping, okay? So I'll reach out to the winners. And I hope you guys have an awesome day and an awesome week. I'm so happy Jackson's home. Um, he joined me a little later, got to spend some time with his dad and grandparents in Vegas. So he just got home. So super important for him. He flew, he drove, he ate lots of crazy food, probably sugar, probably didn't sleep the greatest. So his job today was to immediately take a hot shower. I stole his tea tree. So he is going to be putting tea tree all over his um, face, throat, chest, and he's going to be taking on guard soft gels um, throughout the day one probably three times a day and um, then tonight we'll probably do a symphony of cells for immunity or an aroma touch massage and then he can do it on me and vice versa right proactive make sure you're taking care of yourself every single day don't wait till something's wrong to do it all right gotta run i hope you have a great week happy oiling bye